We're back, paisanos! Hey, paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sick is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So hang on to your seat Get ready for adventure and remarkable feats You'll meet the Koopas and Troopas The Princess and the others Hanging with the plumbers You'll be hooked on the brothers to the I know. Look, oh, you, you gotta hide me quick. No problem, Rob. Get behind me. I'll hide you. All right, all right. Get behind. I got, I got you covered. Oh, yeah? Why don't you get a job? Mario, there's this mob of people in front of the shop, and. I know. You're a. Uh, you're a. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I know. Yeah, don't worry, Rob. He does that every time a teen hot throb hides in our basement. All right. Hey, you're, you're the guy with the, uh, what the, we screaming. Nice to meet you. Hey, Rob. I didn't know you played the guitar. Oh, I don't. I just carry it around for me for the image. You know, teen heart throb, rock and roll bad boy. Same thing. I can't believe it. I mean, here I am sitting with teenage heartthrob, Rob Stone eating pizza. The world is a strange and wacky place. I mean, forget about it. I can't wait till the guys at the bowling alley hear about this. <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, guys, really, I want to thank you for letting me hide out in here. I mean, that mob of crazed fans, they, they almost had me. No problem, Rob. Our basement is your basement. Uh, pass me a napkin, will you? Sure. Wait a minute. Not real. This is Rob Stone. So? So, say please. You know something? You're right. Please. Hey, guys, come on. Listen, you don't have to treat me any different than anybody else. I may be a teen heartthrob, beloved by millions of youngsters across this great nation, but I'm still almost ordinary inside. See? what I tell you? Now, I gotta go. I've got a full day of teen heartthrob stuff ahead of me. You know, stamp my autograph on a few 8x10s, break a few hearts. <laughs> on second thought, I'll break those hearts later. Any more pizza? Sure. Oh, yeah, hey, have mine. Oh, no, 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 really. I come on, have Rob. to watch my video. Yeah, come, oh, on, come on, Rob. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Guys, it's all right. While Rob's getting ready to face the mob, why don't you watch these exciting new scenes from the next Legend of Zelda? Well, what do you think? Oh, you look Are you great, kidding huh? me? Come on, Rob, who's going to suspect that you would dress yeah. up as a plumber? You're going to slip through that crowd, bada-bing, bada-bang, bada-boom. <laughs> no problem. Right. Oh, plus, I get to dress up in these fancy showbiz threads. I mean, you guys are looking at one hot plumber. Yo. <laughs> hey, listen, how can I ever thank you guys, huh? Really? Well, Rob, you know, now that you mention it, uh, maybe you could get us tickets for your next uh, show. Oh, better than not, maybe you can invite us out to your Malibu pad for one of them Hollywood parties with your fancy friends. Uh, oh, yes, maybe... yeah, 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 sure. Luigi, listen, I'll tell you what you do. You call my agent's office, and he'll take real good care of you, all right? All okay. right. All right. See all you right. later. Okay. Take care, Rob. All right, take it easy. Thanks a lot. Hey, Rob, 
I make that call first thing in the morning, all right? Oh, yeah, you have your service, I have call my service, all right? You, Thanks a lot. Take care, love you. Warren. Hey, hey, where you going? I got Rob's guitar. But how could you be a hot Rob, without a guitar? And don't swap without a guitar. What's the matter with you? Yo, Rob! Being famous keeps you in good shape. Until next time, everybody, do the Mario! We didn't win the church raffle at this spot, so that's not the lucky spot. There's the lucky spot. Hey, yo, Mario, what's that? What's that? <laughs> right here. It's the big time celebrity prize sweepstake giveaway. Now, let me tell you what we're going to win. The third prize is an all-expense-paid trip to Italy with Sophia Loren. <laughs> now, the second prize is a tour of Hollywood, California with Annette Funicello. Annette Funicello? Funicello, that's the same one. The first prize, an evening on the town with Madonna. Madonna? Now, the grand prize is milk and cookies with... Scott, Scott Bale? Of <laughs> course, there's a bunch of other consolation prizes that'll be announced next month. Hey, I know we're gonna win. I just don't know what we're gonna win. You asking me? What do I look like, a fortune teller? <laughs> fortune teller? That's it! Someone who can look into the future! You're on the money, Mario. Come on, look it up. What do we got here? F, 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 okay. Fortune cookies. Fortune hunters. Wheel of fortune. Here we are. Fortune tellers. Fortune tellers, fortune tellers. Look at this ad from Madame Magogo. It says, Mario and Luigi pull me right away to find out what you won. Now, this lady is good. <laughs> we're talking terrific. This is the lady we're calling. Ooh, ah, hey, Magogo, are you bringing up the spirits? No, it's the chili pepper I had for lunch. <laughs> now, before I conduct the seance, ask me what the first thing in my mind is. Okay, what's the first thing on your mind? My $25 fee. <laughs> Even us psychics have to pay the rent, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Mario, Luigi, join hands. Ooh, oh, mighty spirits with magic eyes to Mario and Luigi, please don't tell lies. A moment of silence, boys. Ah, either your questions will soon be answered, or, or, or we'll have to play a quick game of Ring Around the Rosie. Wait, I see something. What is it? It looks like scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. I think I've done it. I feel. Yes. I feel. Yes. I feel someone stepping on my foot. <laughs> I feel there is a presence listening. Now, what is your question? Will we win a prize for the big time celebrity sweepstake giveaway? Oh, I feel a very, very positive vibration. Yes, you will be winners. Now, for the bonus round, you may ask one more question. Uh, will we win a date with Sophia Loren, Annette Funicello, Madonna, or Scott Bayo? I don't see any of these people in your prize winnings. But I do see that you have a date with a beautiful, mysterious woman. Oh, a date with a mysterious, beautiful woman? Yes, a drop-dead stone fox. She has something to do with the consolation prize you will win. Oh, wait! Yes. I'm getting. Yes. I'm getting hungry. Want to join me for some Thai food? 
Yeah, you know if I was going to go, though. No, no, we're pizzatarians. Well, then I guess I should be leaving Zim Zella Bim and Toodles. Right, thanks, Madam McGogo. You were great help. Anytime. All things. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. 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 Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! There you go again with that. Uh oh! What is it, Mario? Let me see what it is. Consolation prize. You will receive a date with the beautiful and mysterious Madame Agogo. Madame Agogo. Oh no. Some consolation. Till next time, everybody! Do the world! Yo, Luigi! You got the apples from my pie. This is gonna be the best pie I ever cooked, eh? Oh, yeah? You're not making a pie with this apple. I'm gonna tell you I got an apple here that any girl who eats it will think I'm the handsomest man in the world. Okay. What's inside the apple? A million bucks. Oh, 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 very funny. The gypsy lady that sold me this said it was magic. Mario. Mario, my beautiful brother. You know, there's a sucker born every minute, and for the next 60 seconds, you're the chosen one. And let me tell you, if bad Donna, the girl of my dreams, eats this apple, she'll think I'm the handsomest man in the world. But that never works for a lovesick goof like me. Yo, Mario, who knows? You never could tell. Come in. Mad Donna! Does he always know? What are you doing here? I was searching for some fine Brooklyn photos when my car broke down. Can I use your phone? Sure. Oh, uh, look. An apple in front of a picture of me. Thanks. <laughs> you are the handsomest man I've ever seen. I must stay with you forever. So I guess you enjoy being a famous singer. Not nearly as much as I enjoy being with you. Mario, my prince. I must call my agent and tell him that I plan to live out the rest of my days with you. Oh boy, when Luigi gets this. Hey Luigi, get out here! Oh, I got great news. You're kidding me. Mrs. Mario, me and Mad Donna are engaged. Hello, Murray. Just cancel the tour. I'm. My sweet, my sweet, what's wrong? Hey, get away from me. Murray, call the cops. Oh, I guess the apple wore off. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Please calm down. I'm sorry for anything I've done. I'm sorry, please. Okay. You look like a nice enough guy, I guess. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Murray, cancel the cops. Call the press conference. I'm getting married to the handsomest man in the world. You stay here, my sweet, while I pack for the honeymoon. Count the minutes you're gone. Oh, I'll count the minutes you've gone, Miss I want you to do a favor and keep my fiance company while I pack for the honeymoon. Oh, sure. By the way, where are you going? Niagara Falls. Oh, show up, that. <laughs> Mario, don't forget to pack your barrel. Yuck! What I done? Uh-uh. Yo, uh, Mario. Are you uh, sure that you're packing for a honeymoon with uh, Matt Donna? Why don't you ask her? All right. Excuse me, miss. Are you really going to marry my brother Mario? <laughs> Wouldn't marry him if you were the last plumber on earth. Oh. Luigi. Oh. Oh. Murray. Murray? Yes. I've got an announcement. I, today, am going to quit show business and marry the most handsome man in the world. Me? 
I don't think that's yes. a plan. Hi, Mario. Did you meet my fiance, Aunt Donna? Uh oh. This time I think you're right. Uh oh. Till next time, everybody. Look at this guy. Look at this speed. Bing, bang, boom, bang. Huh? That's fast, Mario. That's fast. That's poetry in motion. Boom, bang. Hey, Ryan. What are you doing here? And what's with the suitcase? I, I'm selling pots and pans door to door. Ryan. How about encyclopedias? Ryan. Would you believe Tupperware? Really? Ryan. Okay, I admit it. I'm lying like a dog. I'm running away from home. Boy, I didn't think I'd crack that easy. Why are you running away from home? My parents don't love me anymore, so I'm going to teach them a lesson. And when I'm gone, are they going to miss me? Ryan, maybe we should talk a little about this before, huh? Guys, I hate to run away and empty stomach. Mm. You know, Brian, I've been thinking. No matter how bad you think things are, you don't want to run away. Trust me on this. Sorry, guys. I've made up my mind. I'll teach my parents to appreciate me. Brian, you may not believe this, but when Luigi and I were kids, I ran away from home. Really? Yeah. It's true, Brian. Why, I remember. It was like yesterday. <laughs> of my poor family were breaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were miserable. Yeah. Uh, this is the best popcorn. Yeah. This is the best time. I have the whole coat to myself. I told you that <laughs> You're the bestest mama in the whole world. I love this. <laughs> and without your brother here, there's a lot more for us. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry I ran away from home. You're probably worried sick. About what? Mom, <laughs> did you miss me? No. I don't miss your yelling. I didn't miss your fighting with your brother. And I didn't miss your room in a mess. But you, I miss. Uh, uh, uh. What was that for, man? Just in case. <laughs> Remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Mario, that story was so beautiful. I'm ready to barf. <laughs> yeah, but have you learned a lesson, Brian? Mm -hmm. Huh? I shouldn't run away because my parents will enjoy it too much. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Brian. I better hurry home before the popcorn's gone. Okay, Brian. Good luck. Right, so long. Thanks for visiting. Bye. Take care, Brian. 
still too much Tupperware. Watch the cars. Nice <laughs> <laughs> kid. He's a great kid. Boy, were we miserable when you ran away. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's a nice guy. Sure. Come on, more beach. Yo, have you seen my boxer shorts? Yeah, there you go, no doubt. Thanks. Just a reminder, all you plumbers and plumettes, tonight's the big costume ball at the lovely cesspool ballroom. Uh, oh, uh, all the plumbers and plumettes of Brooklyn are gonna shine tonight. <laughs> Boy, I can hardly wait to wear my bunny suit. Oh, jeez, that reminds me. I left my gorilla outfit in the truck. I'll be right back. Hey, I better make sure the rest of the suit fits me because I've gained a pound or two. We interrupt with this important bulletin. A vicious gorilla has escaped from the Dingaling Brothers Circus in Brooklyn. Keep your doors locked. Look at me! Look at my bunny suit! Hey, Luigi! Where are you? Look at this! Hey, Luigi! <laughs> Luigi, what's the matter with you? Look at all this mess! Uh, look at that ugly suit! Come on, clean it up! Clean it up, Luigi! Don't give me no lip! <laughs> Are you in there? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, you better do something about that breath. Oh, that did it, Luigi. That did it. You that did it, Luigi. I'm going to get you and try to run through the door. That did it, Luigi. Oh. Okay, okay. So it's not an ugly suit. I'll never get back. I can't believe it. Yo, Mario, come on, tell me the truth. What do you think of the costume, eh? You know something, Luigi? I'm not even going to talk to you after the way you tossed me into that brick wall. <laughs> and beside that, I was picking concrete out of my hair for an hour and a half. What are you talking crazy for? Now, come on, tell me the truth. What do you think of the costume? You look terrible, OK? Beside that, you make a lousy gorilla. Oh, thanks a lot. I never said nothing about your stupid bunny suit. <laughs> you know something? That reminds me, I got to find out that the bunny is. Well, last time I saw them, Mama was using them for oven mitts. I gotta look for my bunny ears. <laughs> all right, all right, Luigi, you clean up this mess around here. It looks terrible, and I'm gonna go look for my bunny ears, all right? Clean up the garbage. Go ahead. Go to all the trouble to put on a suit that would fool a real gorilla, and what do you get? Oh, great. Big joke, Mario. Look at this. Where'd you get this ugly suit? Oh, sure, sure. Very funny, very funny. Come on, will you? Enough is enough. <laughs> Mario! Mario! <laughs> uh oh. Watch these scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. Me and Luigi will be right back. Me and Luigi. Uh, me and. Uh, we'll be right back. This is terrible. I've used up 14 pounds of bananas, and I still don't know which one of you is Luigi. How many times have I got to tell you? I'm Luigi. I'm the one that talks. Yeah, it could be a trick. Uh, besides, you ate the bananas. But the real Luigi can fix these pipes. Let me add it. Hey, we don't have a lot of time. Let's get this done without any monkey business. <laughs> monkey business? Oh. Hey, brother or not, fella, you're hired. Oh. That's not fair. Uh, what am I going to do? Wait, let's see. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. I got a question here that only Luigi would know. How many warts on Mama Mario's nose? Lucky, lucky guess. Hey, we're not talking about the one on her chin. <laughs> Well, I give up. Uh, you two guys work it out. I'm going to the ball. 
Uh, he's just jealous because he don't have a date. <laughs> Listen, I got an idea. After the dance, I figured maybe we'd get some espresso, some cannoli, uh, a little spumoni. Say, you wouldn't have to know how to tango, do you? I'm dying to meet a girl that can tango. Until next time, everybody, do the Mario! This episode is brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Nobody delivers better. <laughs> <laughs> excuse, excuse me, Florence Nightingale. I hate to interrupt the concert, but uh, I don't know about turning this place into a bed and breakfast joint. It's a cinch. I mean, trust me. I don't trust you. But what kind of a meatball is going to stay in a joint like this? A discriminating meatball. I mean, the rich folks will hear about this place, and the books will come rolling in. Sure they will, but how are you going to get rich guys to come here? by putting up a sign oh, that George Washington slept here. Yeah. Get out of here. Washington didn't sleep here. Yeah, but he ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. I slept in Valley Forge. I slept in Mount Vernon. I even slept on a boat. But I've never been desperate enough to sleep in a dump like this. Luigi, could we talk? Uh, General, sir. Uh, come in, sir. Make yourself at home. I mean, get right. comfortable. Right. Hey, why don't you have a cherry, General? <laughs> could make him sleep, then we ain't lying. Great idea. <clears throat> uh, General, sir, why don't you go ahead and stretch out on the couch? Well, I'm not really that tired. I've had five cups of coffee already after lunch. <laughs> but I'm never one to refuse hospitality. Good. Well, go ahead, rest, rest, rest. Oh, nice doilies. Very nice doilies. <laughs> Your eyes are getting tired. They're getting heavy. You're getting sleepy. Luigi, help me. La, la, la. La, la, la. Luigi, I think it's working. It's working. <laughs> After these exciting scenes from Legend of Zelda, we'll have some exciting scenes from the East River. First they lied about me, and now they want me to sit through a lousy dream sequence. Oh, boy, this river's icy. Oh, Say, General, where are we going? Valley Forge! I'm sending you in as replacements, which shows you how desperate I am. Listen, listen, I, I could change the sign. No, you lied. And you're going to swim this last mile in this icy river. What? Quick, General. I promise I won't lie no more, General. I'm not that good a swimmer. General, I promise he won't lie any more. Yeah, come on. Give us two more chances. I don't swim that good. I won't lie no more, General. I kiss Mario, 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 Mario. Get off me. Oh. I had a horrible dream about Washington. You too? You was in it. I was in it. We were in it. I mean, we were in it. Come in! Come in. Uh, excuse me, do you have a vacancy? Excuse me, but you look very familiar. What is your name, sir? Washington. George Washington? Ralph Washington. <laughs> Sorry, the inn's all full. 
I told you don't ever lie. I'll tell you, I'll never again. You were never dreaming. I was going to make it. You were going to jump into the water. Into the water, head first. Ooh, I was cold. I held my water. nose. I was cold. He was snotty. He was pointing. I went to the forge. I was rolling. Until next time, everybody. Do the Mario. OK, Luigi, I'm tightening the Fisneris. It's not the Fisneris. The belt that doesn't go into the pulpit, guys, yeah, very smoothly. I can hold it with this. I'll put it never down Never mind. The steam is going to start going yeah, out of here in a minute. And it's... Oh. Who's that? Sergeant Slaughter, and I'm here to train you bozos for a special secret government mission. So don't just stand there, drop it, give me ten. Hold it, hold it, Mario, take it easy. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, sir, Sergeant. Sir? No disrespect, but how do we really know that you are here on a government secret mission? I'll read you my top secret government orders. I don't hear anything. I told you, they're top secret. I believe you, sir. Now, I'm gonna give you a little test to see if you can be trusted with top government security, see? Do you hear that, Luigi? The sergeant's gonna give us a test to see if we're trustworthy. Now the whole neighborhood knows you failed the test. Get down and give me 10, or I'll start kicking some butt. Well, now that you've explained that clearly, scary person. You sure have a way with words, Sergeant, sir. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Push those buns around the floor. Pull those chin up. Pull them high. I'd rather be eating pizza pie. Pull down. One, two. Pull down. Three, four. Okay, forget about it. Back over here on the double. Move it. Move it. Move it. A ten. Hush. About face. About face. I said about face. Pork. Pork. Right shoulder, arms. Left shoulder, arms. Right shoulder, arms. Left shoulder, arms. Right shoulder, arms. Left shoulder, arms. Right 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 shoulder, arms. A ten, punch. A right, about face. Right face. Left face! Forget about it! Look at me! Look at me! All right! Now, present her! Yes, sir. No! No! What's wrong with you guys? All right, parade rest! Good idea! You go to the parade! Right, Sarge. We'll rest. No! No, you meatball! He's never gonna win. He's Halloween again. Keep your seat, don't get no snack. After scenes from Zelda, we'll be right back. Sound off. One, two. Against all odds, I whipped you guys into shape. Now you're gonna go out there and face torture, brutality, and certain death for mom, apple pie, and the flag. What do you say about that, boys? <laughs> this just ain't gonna work. Top secret government spies Mario and Luigi reporting for duty, sir! Torture me and I'll tell you everything I know! You'll never find out from me that the money's in the safe, the recipe for the marinara sauce is in the toilet tank, and Mario sucked his thumb until he was 21! As you were! Sergeant Slaughter, at your service, sir! Yes, sir, Mr. President! I've got the Super Mario Brothers as ready as ever be, sir! Mistake! You mean you want Radicator? Certainly, sir. Very clever of you, sir. I couldn't agree more with you, sir. No, sir. I don't want a puppy. Give my military regards to the missus. Radicator! Front center! I want you at four dicks at 2100 hours on the double! <laughs> Mario, can you keep a secret? Sure. One was on. He's gone.
Till next time, everybody, do, do the Mario! All right, this ought to fit perfect. Okay. Yep. By the way, get the door. How does he always know? <laughs> Yo, Mario, you expecting somebody? Oh, I hope it's not that magazine guy. I understand you plumbers can fix anything mechanical. I need an emergency adjustment. The name is Gat. Inspector Gat. Oh, no problem, Gat. Come back in an hour. Well, I need you to fix them while I wait. You see, I'm expecting important instructions from the chief. Yeah, that must be him now. Does he always do that? Yes. Chief, is that you? Yes, sir. I'll be there as soon as the Mario brothers fix me up. Sorry, fellas, I'm going to pieces. Are you ready, Dr. Mario? Yes, I am, Dr. Luigi. Okay. <laughs> what was that for? Just in case the patient screams, we shouldn't be upset. <laughs> Wash. Okay. Okay, doctor. To you, doctor. Uh, me, doctor. Cleanliness, neatness. Oh, ah. well, now what do we do? Waste not, want not. <laughs> Mrs. Periwinkle's goldfish, Kenneth. Uh oh. Here you go, doctor. Here, you, doctor. Equipment ready? Yes, sir. Patient prepped. Patient prepped. I'm trying to prep it. I don't know what I told you. Okay, doctor. What is the most important thing? Cleanliness. 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 Yes, uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 Stick it later. Stick it later. Right. All done. Huh? I feel like Leonardo da Vinci. It's a masterpiece. What do you say, Inspector? <laughs> what? I have one question, fellas. What's that? How long have you two been working for the evil Dr. Claw? What? Why, I order. Those spare parts that you come up with, Luigi, are just what we needed. I think we're ready for a bench check. Bench check coming up, Mario. All right, Inspector, we'll have you taken care of here in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Yeah, very good. Perfect. Oh, yes, yes, sir, me, Bob. Your RPM's at 3,000. The oil is clean, but you ought to come back for a left foot alignment in about 3,000 miles. And here's your 30-day parts and labor warranty. Just don't run over any nails. Ah, excellent. Well, tell me, will you gentlemen take a check? Absolutely. By the way, where did you find my new spare parts? Oh, I got them at that novelty store on uh, 33rd and 3rd. A novelty store? Right. <laughs> a novelty store. That figures. Well, thank you, Mario Brothers. I think I'll leave before you can do anything else to help. Yo, uh, Mario. Do you think that I should tell him about some of the other changes that uh, we made? Go, go! Rocket shoes! Wowzers! I don't think so. Forget about it with the eating already. Come on, Inspector Clean from the Board of Sanitation is coming. Now, either we clean up this mess or we lose the building. Come on, to Mario. Thank <laughs> you.
Only temporary. Take it easy. Incoming train! <laughs> I got it. I'll get, get it. Inspector Clean, to what do we owe this unexpected pleasure? Evicted any old ladies lately? No. And that's why I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> but judging from the looks of this place, <laughs> I think I'll be able to pick up a few extra points. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. Well, what have we here? <laughs> Uh-huh. Anchovy pizza with extra mold. Which? Minus 50 points. 50 points? Uh-huh. You know, boys, I feel better already. <laughs> What's under the tub? What, what, what tub? What tub? Yes, what, what tub? This tub. That, this, that, this tub. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Uh-huh. Keeping slimy pets at a location of business, huh? Minus 100 points. 100 points? That's right. You know, boys, looks like you're on your way out. But if I were you, I'd start packing. <laughs> Let's just carry the five, five, two, one, three, carry the one. What was that? Uh, leaky pipes. No, it's not. Aha! Leaky pipes! <laughs> Another 50 points. <laughs> oh, we're close, boys. Very close. <laughs> All right, come on, boy. Here it is. Come on, you big rat. Go on. Fetch, boy. Fetch! Yeah. Yo, Mario, I got it. You get clog off his head, and we make the switch. Okay, come on. Hey, Inspector! Yes, yes, that's right. Well, it looks like that we have it. Whoa! Run! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that does it! Attacking the city official! You guys are evicted! Wow! <laughs> Oh, we're gonna be stuck here for a while, so why don't you watch these scenes from the next Legend of Zelda? Oh, I am! Full murder! I am! I am! Inspector, don't bother me, you brute! I'm evicting you! You're out of here! Inspector, <laughs> what? Your head. My head? Your head! <gasps> it's back! It's back! My hair is back! Hey, it must be that special water coming from your leaky pipes that made my hair grow back! Well, actually, it was our... It's amazing! I haven't had hair since I was five years old! All right, guys. You'll pass inspection. <laughs> that is this time. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, sir. Enjoy yourself. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your hair, sir. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> so long! <laughs> That was close. <laughs> hey, when things are right, they're right. <laughs> Be right back, paisanos. Till next time, everybody. Do, Do the Mario! Mario! Beautiful. Mario Brothers Plumbing. Yeah, you clog him, we clear him. Hello? What? Are you kidding? All right, I'll tell him. I'll tell him, I'll tell him. Goodbye. What is it? I can't believe it. He said you won the art contest. The man said you drew the best tippy turtle ever. 
In other words, he's coming over right here now. The instructor, he wants to meet you in person. Are you kidding me? Yes. He said I drew the best tippy turtle ever. The best ever, he said. And he's coming over here. Right over here to watch this. Forget about it. I'm not ready. I mean, a real life artist is going to be right here in our apartment. Wow, we got a visitor coming over here. I got to clean my hands. I got to wash up. Go wash up? Oh, I better tidy up with a visitor coming. The best Tippy Turtle. I mean, I knew it was good. But the best? Oh, we. Jeez. Tim. That's him. Wow. Hello, hello. I am here to see Luigi. My name, it is Vincent Van Gogh. Right. Uh, very nice to meet you, Mr. Van Gogh. Uh, I'm Luigi. Please come into my house. It's the honor. It's an honor to meet you. The pleasure it is all yours. Yes, sir. Ah, is this a pop man? It smells of intense creativity. Or else old sweat socks. Close. That's Mario's meat sauce. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Van Gogh, can I get you a seat? Are you crazy? Vincent Van Gogh, he never sits when he works. But in this case, I am tired. Get me a chair. Yes, sir. I will set up the easel. Yes, sir, a chair. Oh, boy. Oh, I can't wait. Quickly, quickly now. Yes, we sir. get to the first lesson. To the lesson. Okay. Now, the first lesson. Always carry a sharp pencil. Lesson number two. Never, ever poke me in the ear with this thing. Lesson number three. Never go swimming right after lunch. Always wait three hours. Three hours. Genius! No, 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 pure klutz. No, no, it is perfect. It was really nothing. No, my son, this is this is a masterpiece. You, my son, you are truly an artiste. I am. He is. I would bet my ear on it. Let's watch some scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. I said, let's watch some scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. Take it easy. I am not Vincent Van Death. Vinny, baby. To me, art is like a big hairball caught in a drain. Disgusting, Mario, but well put. Hey, you, Vinny. Look, I don't want to start trouble or nothing. But I was the one who drew the best tippy turtle you ever saw, right? Uh, yes, of course, Luigi. And from now on, your art lessons will be taught by the great Mario here. <laughs> Lesson number one. Not only should art look good, but it should taste good. <laughs> oh, who are you kidding? You were never artistic. True, Luigi, but the V-Man has woken up my hidden talent. Yeah, well, too bad he didn't wake up your hidden brain. Yo, Vinny, I drew this. Tell me the truth. What do you think, eh? Very interesting, Luigi. Yes, indeed. But it lacks that certain meat sauce quality that the great Mario brings to the picture. I agree. Yeah, well, who asked you? <laughs> no, uh, Mario, you realize, of course, that it's going to cost you a few shekels to learn your art form. Money? Sure, no problem. How much? This week, only $1,500. What? Are you crazy? No, <laughs> Mario, wait a minute. This guy ain't Van Gogh. His picture's in the paper here. This is a guy posing as Van Gogh, and he's been stealing people's money. Hey, 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 hey fellas, look. <laughs> the lesson's over for today. Anyway, I gotta get over to Mrs. Pacciarelli and finish her back porch. Porch, I, I gotta give it a second coat before it gets dark. <laughs> See you later. Wait, 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 what about my painting? You said I was a genius. Oh, this art business is so fickle. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, Mario. I didn't like this Van Gogh guy anyway. I mean, whatever you told him, went in one ear and stayed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry about acting like I, I, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, well, that's all right, brother. See, I learned something. Yeah, really? What? Lesson number four. <laughs> Art should not only look good, but it should look good on you. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, do, do the, the Mario! Mario! Somebody's getting through this door. No, Mario, what is this all about? With security, uh, the, the Tulio, the human wrench, is out to get me. Tulio? You mean that big bully plumber that eats steel parts for lunch? Yeah, you know, I thought his sister was kind of cute, so I asked her out. Not all. Are you crazy? The last boyfriend she had, he turned the guy into a human pretzel. Yeah, well, uh, so think of these locks as uh, pretzel insurance. Mario, 
This is your lucky day. Tulio wants to turn me into an S-trap, and you call it my lucky day? Will you relax? Obi-Wan Cannoli is coming over today. You could ask him for a little bit of advice. Are you talking about the famous spirit who helps people uh, that are about to get pounded? The very same. Whoa. And does he appear in mirror at times? Of course he does. Yeah, and I thought I was going nuts. <laughs> Obi-Wan Cannoli. Wow. You're my only hope. Naturally. I came on short notice. Tell me him, kid. I need your help, cause, because uh, uh, this guy's going to turn me into a, a, a Coney Island pretzel and a, a, a soft pretzel with that. I mean, uh, so what? What? The, uh, what's my first lesson? I mean, do I bite off the tops of the soft mouth, soft cap bottles? Uh, do I twist the uh, coins with my teeth? Or do I beat up on little guys? Uh, what? When you can pass through a wall unseen, the path to enlightenment will be clear. What are you waiting for? There's the wall. Start passing. This guy is strict. Here goes nothing. Whoa. Mario? Mario? You okay? Boy, there was some trick. What are you gonna have to do when he comes to? Jeez. Mario. Mario. Okay? Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Oh. Come on. That a boy. You all right? Talk to me. He's okay. Tulio has a blowtorch with my name on it, and you're making me stand around like a garden decoration. When your consciousness is in harmony with the universe, no cleaver shall blow you asunder. As soon as I figure out what you're saying, I'm sure I'll feel much better. Yeah, well, I couldn't have said it much better myself, Obi. Hang in there, would you, Mario? What's the matter with you? Clutch, you ruined my stock pose. Ruined your stock pose? You ruined our wall. The two of you are ruining my afternoon. Those wishing to attain enlightenment should pipe down. Jeez. <laughs> the path to enlightenment will be made clear after these exciting scenes from Legend of Zelda. Here you go, Mario. Hey, who would hurt someone on crutches? Not even Tulio. <laughs> I don't know about this, Mario. Uh, Mario's not here! Baloney, I'm coming in. Oh, Obi, what should we do? He's going to pulverize Mario. Leave it to the master, you goober. <laughs> to you, you human wrench. There's no one in here. Especially not Mario. Yes, master. Go home and forget about wanting to pulverize Mario. You should be so lucky to get rid of your sister. She's such a pain. I will leave now, since Mario, my pal, is not here. Oh, thank you, Obi-Wan. How did you do it? No sweat, dudes. I just make my voice echo and sound bossy. What should I have learnt from this Obi-Wan cannoli? Some people like to you. Grow strong and firm like the mighty oak. Some grow round and soft like a ripe tomato. What does that mean? You make a better tasting sauce than to you. <laughs> Farewell. Farewell, will be. <laughs> you make a better tasting oh, sauce. Oh. You tomato. I love you, <laughs> Luigi. Oh, my brother, boy, you're a good guy. Till next time, everybody. Do the Mario. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, boy, Luigi, these knives couldn't cut Jello. I mean, we need to buy new ones. Yeah, well, dream on, Mario. We're broke. I mean, we can barely afford to keep the plumbing business going these days. Yeah, you're right. No one's having plumbing problems anymore. <laughs> I mean, they don't make those old leaky pipes like they used to. <laughs> you know, if this keeps up, I mean, we're going to have to cut down on our overeating. What do you mean, me? We, Mr. <laughs> Roly Polly? <laughs> hey, Luigi, by the way, go over and get me, uh, get me a tomato from the tomato garden, will you? All right. Yeah. More <laughs> tomatoes coming up, Mario. You got it. Oh, they look good this year, huh? Go ahead, give me a nice ripe one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mario! Holy macaroni! Black gold! Takes his tea! Take your shoes off and sit a spell! Oh!
Ted Bull's a name. President of Bull Oil Company. Well, hi, Mr. Bull. Come on in. My car. Thank you. It's my brother Mario. Mario, Mr. Bull. How are you, Mario? How do you do? Sorry, sir. Partner, an oily handshake is the best kind. I understand your boy stuck oil. Wow. News travels fast. Son, I can smell a gusher a mile away. I want to make you a deal. You'd be plain loco to pass up. Really? What kind of deal? A deal that'll make you too rich beyond your wildest dreams. And that ain't no bull. Wow. Uh, oh, look at this one here. 250,900, uh, you got a 46 footer, Luigi. Oh, boy. Now, what should I get? Should I get a brown one or should I get a blue one? I don't know. Wait a minute. With the money we're gonna have, maybe I'll buy both. Yeah, you know, Mario, maybe we should have waited for Mr. Bull to bring over the check before we spent all this money, eh? Just relax, Luigi. We have the money. Relax. Yeah, well, I hope you're right. You know, come to think of it, I mean, it's going to be great. No more having to settle for second best. From now on, Luigi, we're going to do all the best things in life. All the best things that life has to offer are going to come to us. But I'm telling you. You're right. You're right. You're right, Mario. Things like uh, vacations in the tropics. Yeah, just picture it now. Eating pizza in indoor restaurants. Uh, uh, how about furniture we didn't just find? Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Mama's going to be so proud of us. Oh, Luigi, I can't believe it. Oh, boy, this makes me feel good. This is the light. While we're waiting for Mr. Bull to drop off our checks, why don't you watch these scenes from the next Legend of Zelda? I love this show. Is it on now? Ah, uh, Luigi, I'm gonna tell you, I really enjoy our new style of life. <laughs> Me too, Mario, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I just hope Mr. Bull shows up with the check pretty soon because these bills are starting to add up, huh? Ah, the heck with it. <laughs> Big brother, do me a favor, huh? Give me a glass of that Texas tea, huh? <laughs> I mean, I just wanna gaze at pure money. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's wrong? The well. Well? 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 The well, it's dry! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Where are you going with all this stuff? Huh? It says, you don't pay, you don't stay. Luigi, what's going on? Boys, I'm sorry to hear about your pitiful dry well. Yeah, well. Too bad we can't do business, but that's the oil game, partner. Boy, oh boy, news sure travels fast. Son, I can smell a gusher a mile away. away. Yeah, we know, yeah, we yeah. know. Next time you strike oil, just call old Ted. You hear? Sure. Hey, you guys. I just wanted to let you know that I fixed that leaky oil pipe. Aren't you proud of me? Clouds, not the word. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Till next time, everybody! Do Do the Mario! No, no, Grandma. No, no. Yes. Yes, Grandma. No, no. It wasn't me, Grandma. It was Luigi. No, I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry. Mario! Mario, wake up! Grandma! Grandma! The head moved back on your watch! Mario, Mario, it's me, Luigi. Who? You're daydreaming about Grandma again. I'm telling you, Luigi, she was right here. It's as plain as the nose on your face. Or oh, the nose on my face. Well, that is pretty plain, Mario. But then again, Grandma was never much of a looker. But I'm telling you, Grandma was here. I could feel Luigi. I could feel like in the old days when she used to cuff me. Mario, take it easy. Take it easy. You know, I'm worried about you. I mean, every night these dreams about Grandma, it's like she's trying to reach out to you from across the great barrier. You mean? Yes. Newark, where she's buried. But that's the confusing part. She stands right here, and she talks to me, and she's shaking her finger at me, but the words, they're all fuzzy. But, but, but why don't we call that the psycho lady? You mean crazy Mrs. Schwartz number 3A? You know, the old lady that, 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 with the evil eye that she could tell fortunes, and she could tell things before they happen. Mario, that's Mario, the... not psycho, that's psychic. There's a big difference. Come in. 
old psychic lady with the evil eye who reads fortunes and knows everything before it happens. And watch the psycho cracks. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> Seven of spades. Uh -huh. This is romance. Give it a good. Romance. Okay, Very good. Give me good. Romance. This is not good. Not good. Ten give it to him. Give me it to him. No, I don't want that. I want, to, I want romance. You'll take what I give you. Okay. A nine of spades is nice with the ten no. together. Right. A ten. A ten. A king. King. A king. I like yeah. Very good. Give me a nine of hearts I, is romance. I like that. It's good for you. I love that. Oh. Oh. Is that good? I don't want I'll that. Take it. This is an ace of hearts. Yeah, give me that. Very good. Hold it. All right. Hold it. All right. Hold it. I got a royal straight flush. Nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace of spades. <laughs> really, really. All I got is a busted flush. Well, you're a plumber, aren't you? These are my cards. Now concentrate. Are you ready? Give me your hands. We're gonna try to contact the living. But grandma's dead. It's all the same to me on the ethereal plane. Now, empty your head of all thoughts. Okay, all set. I ain't got nothing in my head. Okay. <laughs> in the name of this tortured soul, Mario, I call forth the spirit of... What's her name? Uh, Grandma Mario. I was named after her. His name is Grandma. Must have been razzed a lot as a kid. Oh, yeah. But for other reasons. You know, I remember when he was 10, all the kids used to play Ring of Rosie around. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Was... Can we get back to, the, to what we're talking about here, to Grandma? I mean, uh, we're, we're talking long distance here. Let's Easy go. Easy does it, Grandma. I mean, Mario. I'm calling forth the spirit of Grandma Mario. Come in, Grandma Mario. You must be close. A trumpet and a tambourine usually announce a presence. Sounds like the, the presence could use a little bit of practice. This place. Look at this place. She's a. Uh, uh, how do you say? Um, a dump. Shut up your face and don't talk back to me. That's what I mean, though. She's a dump. Breaks my poor heart. I'm a laughing stock, you know. Newick? No! Up a Newick? Mamma mia, it's too stupid. Look, Bambini, this is what you do. You clean up the mess, you wash behind the ears. You clip the nose hairs. Then maybe I can rest easy, even in Newark. Cra crazy lady, are you in there? You call? <sighs> Thank goodness. Grandma's spirit is free at last. Yeah, but not mine. That's a hundred bucks, boys. A hundred bucks? It's a long way to Newark. Until next time, everybody, do the Mario! Yo, Mario, I am so glad that we finally get to our spring cleaning here, eh? Yeah, we got so much junk down here, it's a wonder we can find anything. <laughs> like lunch. <laughs> Let's take a pizza break. You're right, I'm starved, too. Yo, what's that? Ooh, it must have been here for ages. Good. Thank you. Yo, Mario. This could maybe be worth something. We we ought to have this appraised by an expert. Yeah, and then we should find out how much it's worth. <laughs> you know, uh, I hope this guy you called knows something about this painting. Well, of course he'll know. I called the best art expert around, Howard Stevens of Lifestyles of the Poor and Unknown. Come in! Good afternoon, gentlemen. Are you Mario and Luigi? Yes, we are. I'd say you fall into the uh, poor category. Uh, right this way, Howard. Why are we yelling? <laughs> well, what do you think? Astonishing. This is the second to last supper by Leonardo da Vinci Rooney. <laughs> it's one of the rarest paintings in history. You're putting us on. This painting disappeared over 300 years ago. After da Vinci Rooney painted it, his student, Leonardo da Vinci, stole his idea and painted the famous Last Supper. <laughs> One day, this painting disappeared without a trace and was believed to be lost forever. That is, until now. 
Hold on to your hats, boys. This painting is worth over 100 zillion dollars. Whoa. Hey, yeah, yeah. How much can we get for a frame? <laughs> I can't believe we're going to be so rich. Yeah, we'll be able to afford anything. One thing you can afford to do is not watch these scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. A hundred zillion dollars? What are you going to buy, Luigi? Are you kidding me, Mario? I want a vacation in the Bronx. I want to ride in a rented car. I want to buy Mama a fake fur coat. <laughs> How about you, Mario? The world's largest pizza. Mm, with extra cheese, oh, Mario. That's right. Think big, boys. Someday you may even appear on my show, Lifestyles of the Poor and Unknown. <laughs> Hold it. What is this I see? What's the matter? Oh, dear boys. I'm afraid this painting is not worth 100 zillion dollars. All right, okay, give or take a zillion. We're still rich, huh? No, Luigi. I'm afraid this painting is not worth diddly squat. Good joke, Howard. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mario, I'm completely serious. This is a bogus Da Vinci Rooney. As long as it's not a phony. Right. Who painted it? This worthless piece of art was painted by an imposter, Leonardo Da Vinci Mahoney. All oh, these names, these names, I'm confused. Uh, uh, did, did you say uh, Da Vinci Mahoney? Exactly, Mario. Leonardo Da Vinci openly stole from his teacher, Da Vinci Rooney. But his fellow student, Da Vinci Mahoney, was even worse. You see, he stole Da Vinci Rooney's ideas and signed his teacher's name on his paintings. But how could you tell it was a Da Vinci Mahoney? Aha! Uh -huh. In all his paintings, Da Vinci Mahoney always managed to slip in a likeness of his uncle, Roy Orbisoni Mahoney. Oh, <laughs> Okay, exactly how much is our painting worth? Fellows, read my lips. This painting is worth nothing. Nada. Zilch. Zero. Zip. That much, huh? You couldn't trade this painting for a bag of empty aluminum cans. If you wanted to get backstage at a B.J. Thomas concert, this painting would be worth nothing as a bribe. <laughs> if you found a Pong video game at a garage sale for 10 cents and all you had was this painting, you would leave empty-handed. <laughs> this is not worth a whole lot. Get my drift? Okay, you don't have to have a hundred zillion dollars on the nose. Look, boys, I hate to see anyone go away with nothing when they came so close to being rich and famous. Al Wood, seven dollars B for the frame. We'll take it. That's the spirit, Luigi, Mario. I'm Howard Stevens, hoping all your champagne milkshakes and caviar pizzas come true. <laughs> Next time, our super jackpot will total 35 cents. Whoa, it's getting up there. You're not kidding. Oh, okay, money for morons is over. Luigi, reason in here. We better get some coal in the furnace before the tenants start complaining. Right, Luigi. Come on, brother. Ooh. Back to work. Ooh. Before you know it, Mrs. Gambler's going to be hitting the pipes. We're going to have more aggravation. There. And I'm freezing, oh, too. Boy. Come on. Okay, Let's go. Get that coal in there. Okay. Better bing, better bing, better boom. Okay, All right. I like your style. I'm gonna there take it. Go. Here we go. Oh. Please talk to me. Oh, oh, now what should I do? Oh, oh. Thank goodness you're alive. Of course I am. And welcome to the show. Show? What show? What do you mean? Why, sir, you must be our first contestant. And what is your name, please? Luigi, what are you yapping about? All right, sir, all right, sir. Which will it be? Door number one, door number two, or door number three? Oh, I don't believe it. He thinks he's some sort of a, of a game show host. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's not a correct answer, but don't worry, because we'll have another chance at it as soon as we return right after these messages. Don't go away. Oh, Please, sir, don't cry. Don't cry. I hate it when a little man cries. 
Hi, Mario. I uh, came over just as soon as I got your call. I mean, Jim Lang, man, thanks. I really appreciate you coming over. I need your help. No problem, but why do you need the help of a game show host? Well, it's something about my, my, my uh, brother Luigi. I mean, something happened to him. Well, thanks for watching, friends, and tune in next time on our super double whammy jackpot will total $100 zillion and 80 cents. Until then, see you next time. Please, I see why. Well, I'll try my best. You know, I remember one time... There was a contestant that came on. But, 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 Jim, Jim, what about my brother Luigi? Oh, yeah, okay. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Host, please, 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 I must remind all contestants not to shut out their answers. You must ring your bell in order to be recognized. Ring my bell? I'm sorry, sir, but your time has run out. But we don't want you to go away empty-handed. We got some lovely party gifts for you. Tell them about it, Johnny. This is going to be harder than I thought. I'm sorry, sir. That's not the right answer. However, you do win the first two hours in February, all meals included. I hope Jim Lang can cure Luigi. In the meantime, let's watch some scenes from the next Legend of Zelda. I'm afraid that is incorrect, Jim. I am not a plumber from Brooklyn. That'll cost you five bucks. I can name that tune in five notes. Well, I can name that tune in four notes. Oh, yeah? Well, I can name that tune in three notes. <laughs> So name that tune and shut up already. <laughs> well, I just don't know what to do, Jim. I can't believe I got to go through life with a brother who constantly uh, uh, checks index cards for, for, for the correct answer. Now, don't worry, Mario. We're going to figure out how to bring Luigi back to normal. Just relax. I've been in tougher jams than this, I remember. Yeah, it was 19... 65. Uh, Jim, 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 just a minute. We don't got time for that. I mean, oh, man, if only I would have listened to my brother Luigi and, uh, and fixed the furnace myself, ha none of this would have happened. Hey, that's right. I got an idea. Oh, uh, Mr. Game Show host. Are you ready with your answer, sir? I believe that your super-duper jackpot furnace has burned out. I do believe you're right, and we can't allow that to happen no. to the furnace. Would you hold that for me, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Luigi, are you okay? Ooh, Luigi, are you in there? I smell pizza. <laughs> He's cured. Jim Lang, I got smacked by Jim Lang. Luigi. Hi. Hi. I can't believe it. Thanks, Jim Lang. You're the greatest game show host in the world, oh. in the universe, in the galaxy. Thank even. you. Thank you, Mario. Hey, you know, that reminds me of a show we used to do, and we used to say goodbye in a special way. Would you guys help me? Sure. Oh, are you kidding? Come on, let's go. This is ready. a dream Okay. Sure. You guys help Come me do this now. You ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go. To say goodbye, okay. everybody out there. Okay. Come hey. on. I'm sorry, but that's not the right answer. Oh, ever. no. Oh. Till next time, everybody. Do the Mario. All right. Oh, my yes, that was the beautiful Passover in Norway polka, as performed by Joe Banana and his band of appeal. Boy, I love that song. And now, the moment you've all been waiting Luigi. for, fantastic friends, I'm about to announce the lucky winners of our WACK home radio broadcast competition. The lusciously lucky listeners whose names I'm about to announce will have a complete day of WACK programming broadcast live from their hospitable homes. And they'll help yours truly, wonderfully wacky Willie White, with the actual DJ duties. Are you ready out there in listener land? Yes, come on! All right, don't get too pushy now. The two friendly folks who will be on the air with me tomorrow are from bodacious Brooklyn, New York. Luigi and... Mario! The Mario Brothers! Yes! Congratulations to our great prize winners! You... Oh, Luigi! We better start practicing! Yeah! You're right! Let's get to work and start practicing, okay. my beautiful bright brother! Say my bountiful pal! Ready? So I say... This is Luigi Mario coming to you live from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Not bad, from not Brooklyn. bad, not bad. Give a shot, give this a shot. This is wait. Oh. Mario Mario here, talking to you from our apartment at a subterranean level in Brooklyn. Very good. And now, the number one song of Sir Christ. I was Teeny Gladys and the Peppers. I mean, Gladys, Peppers, and the Tinos. I mean, I don't care. Whew. Mario. <laughs> Got to take a break from all this practicing. My trousers start to get sore. 
Yeah. My throat hurts too. But we gotta keep practicing. Otherwise, we won't make a good impression on wonderful Wacky Woolly White. You know what? That's a great idea. Let's listen to the professional, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Congratulations to Mario and Luigi of Brooklyn, New York. By the way, you two should expect to see me, the wonderfully wacky Willie White, at your palatial palace tomorrow at 9 a.m. And have your best announcer voices in tune, boys, because this will be your big shot to show the world just how totally excellent you are. Mario? Tomorrow at 9 a.m.? We got no trope left! <laughs> We're just getting some rest before Wacky Willie shows up. Why don't you take a look at these exciting scenes from the next Legend of Zelda? Mario? This is the wonderfully Wacky Willie White. Yes, coming to you live from the homey home of our winners, Mario and Luigi. Congratulations, dudes. That's wonderful, Wacky Willie White. <laughs> Thanks. It's real nice to have you in our home. Uh, yes, isn't it hospitable hospitality for you people out there in listener land? And uh, we'll be right back right after this. Uh, what's wrong with you guys? I mean, where's your energy? Where's your love? It's not our throats. It's just, I guess, that we uh, practice too much. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to make a good impression on you, so we stayed up all night practicing our radio voices. Well, hey, all you guys needed to do was just... Be yourselves. You shouldn't have tried to be like the wonderfully, wonderfully wacky Willie White overnight. I mean, after all, I have experience. I'm a trained professional. Hello? Hello? Yeah, 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 just a minute. It's for you. Oh, all right, thank you very much. Wonderfully wacky Willie here. Oh, hi, boss. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, lay it on me, huh? <laughs> Really? Far out? Uh, yes, I'll tell him. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> My gosh, hey, you hit monsters. You two guys. The phone down at the station is ringing off the hook. Everyone's just wacky about our hot new DJs, the Whispering Plumbers. What do you say about that, boys? <laughs> you glorious, gregarious guys really are exhausted. <laughs> well, well, friends, this is the wonderfully wacky Willie White signing off from the home of the Whispering Plumbers. I better make that the Snoring Plumbers. Bye-bye, everybody. To the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. You got it. It's the Mario. Do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now, just like that. <laughs>